Ladies and gentlemen, how y'all doing? This is Con Ulrich. And I'm Rangaroo. Hello, hello, hello. And folks, we hope you've had a lovely holiday weekend. Uh, we are here actually on Slutsk East, I believe. Slutsk East or Slutsk West? Well, we're on Slutsk. And we're with another um, SD2 League play from Division 1. Rang, who do we have and what are they bringing? On left hand side in blue, we have Amity playing 20th Panzer. We have a Vanguard income. And on the right hand side in red, we have Janeth playing 3rd Year Armored Division. Also, with a Vanguard income. So, folks, as you guys can see right here, both decks are looking to have really just A B presence, not really looking to go hardcore late game into it. I'm mean, kind of understandable. I mean, both guys over here definitely want to make that early impact, you know, making it make a you know, some influence, be a power player early. Yeah, you want to commit a lot of violence early on so you don't have to commit it later. Exactly, exactly. And as kind of a kind of standard down here, we will see down to the south. Yes, there's some small, you know, minimal play that's going on here. Actually, wait a second. This is more than we usually see. It's an M8 Scott opening. Wow. Yeah, that is. You never see a Scott. Like, it's usually not a rough raw unit. But I, it's nice seeing it being used. There we go. Backed up with the Stuarts to give it a bit of high explosive fire support power. So that's an interesting little push I kind of. He's got a half track barreling down the road. He's going to get to the other side. Yes, he is. And it's actually... Um, mildly impressive because usually you just see like a, an anti-tank gun and machine gun over here to the left hand side and you can see already um yes he's paid the piper in terms of that jeep and but big stinking deal this 10 points mm -hmm. and this mg42 is gonna get blown the, the entire southern part of the map is gonna get blown apart yeah that's gonna be enough of easy fly guns to have control and those armored rifles are fantastic for defense because they do have those bazookas and there's a lot of pounders for him to bazook well, indeed, we actually have P3L being brought on in 1410, and I guess I kind of didn't really think about how powerful an early Scott would be. Same. I That's... guess, okay, so well, one thing too, so the way he's got this set up a little bit as well, he's, he's got the stewards that are just barely closer, which is going to make it a little bit more target acquisition for the anti-tank guns usually, they'll shoot for the stewards first. Yeah. And I think the increased HE from the Scott is going to kind of over, over time do way more damage, so. Yeah. And it's only 25 points of Scott, which I always forget, which is cheaply on a tank. And it, it's the HT gun's not fantastic, it's not the highest fire rate or anything, but it does have a lot of machine guns because it's American. Indeed. Indeed. Uh, I do want to take a quick look up here to the north. North is going to get bogged down a little bit, but I imagine we actually see a lot more play over here in the south, which is about stinking time. Yeah. But both of these divisions are uniquely qualified to be that aggressive in the open. Mm-hmm. I mean, we have 20 Panzer of the single Boitai S2 and 30 US Armored, of course, of the Fato Jumbo tank. So, be interesting to see if we're going to see an early Jumbo. We've seen an early M4A176 up north, but, but yeah. Yeah, just small Panzer Freeze and Amber T side. Uh, so, um... Interesting, we have a super early MGMC being brought out over here, the four, that's basically the quad mounted M2s. Um, all in all, that is a little bit farther north than I would have expected. I think I would have expected a little bit further, more to the central side of things, but... Yeah, more coverage. Yeah, yeah, but I guess at the same time, um, having things like the, the P4F1 there, with the, the super up gun 75, yeah. probably could cause some hassles. We are seeing a push in the center uh, position, however, as Genef is trying to route out some Stoss trooping in this farm. And it's curious, because I, actually I didn't really think about this, but the Stoss trooping are really not who you want on the front lines. Yeah, especially in a more open fit. I, 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 okay, I can kind of see putting them here, but now with the recon changes, you can actually spot them before having to barrel guys to draw gems. Sorry, Jay, you would send to the south. Drop the uh -huh. carpet. Oh, yeah, here we go. And apparently what he the... lost that coin flip. Wow, that was... I guess it's sure it's so small it just dodged the clusters. We'll tell you what he doesn't dodge. Yep. That, that Stuart won't dodge a, a P3 shot. No, it's a boy to Stalin, I believe. Oh, was it? Oh, that might have been him. You're absolutely yeah, right. Yeah, He definitely cannot judge... He definitely cannot miss Stalin. P51 has ruined his chance at the Junkers. That's gonna, that's gonna limp on out. And the armored rifles down here are just going to get blown to shreds until they have the bazooka. No, bazooka's not going to get there either. Nope. So we'll check back in on the, on the armored rifle here in just a second. Um, P51 
and the ME109 are going to get into a turning fight. But with the second ME109, it looks like the P51's probably going to go down. Huh. Yeah, and also the second one does have the high veteran sheet, which is going to help out a lot in a dogfight. But we've got another P51 here, so both sides engage in pretty heavy in air power, and there we go. One shrift kill. Oh, and the second ME109 hasn't dropped its bombs yet, so he's going to be a slow bugger. And that's gonna yeah. get him killed. Yeah. Yeah. Speed saves, man. You got the speed definitely saves there. Yeah, those P fifty runs are some of the best fighters in game just due to how goddamn fast they are. And they have I don't have medium agility, but it's not not terrible when you go six hundred and eighty kilometers an hour. So I know and I want to definitely six fifty cows. Definitely want to look back to the north, but look to the south real quick. There were were a number of reinforcements that were going to go to those armored rifles. Yeah. And you can see the smoking husks all along Hell's Highway there. So literally, I think I think something like forty or fifty points of infantry has just been lost between bazookas and actually more than that. I think yeah, armored rifles. More. Yeah, armored rifles are. I oh, only twenty points. They like, really good for twenty points because you got a goddamn bazooka. Not and twenty twenty-five. Automatic but, yeah. rifles. Yeah, and twenty-five because of the half track. Yeah, that's not that bad. You just have terrible availability because you're an armored division, but you get bazookas and, I mean, you can solve a lot of problems with a bazooka. I'm looking elsewise or elsewheres. Uh, P51 going after half track. There we go. Nice little easy kill. Um, and all, when all said and done, I mean, 16 8, let's not kind of take this away from the fact that Kenef is putting on a ton of pressure here in the central and southern position. Yeah, and that's going to work really well for him just getting out. I think he's not going to hold on for it for much longer, but still, it's going to take Abati time to resources to try and route out the southern side and you're also going to see a bit more aggression up and off here from Genef here moving up some armored rifles and a lot of armor and more armored rifles and Amity does have a pretty good defense honestly he has a lot of panzer grands, lots of panzers with the grands machine guns all of that stuff well and, and let's call a spade a spade here calling this the Stuart armor is kind of misleading <laughs> Um, and I say that with all the possible respect, yeah. but like, there's P4s, and I know technically the steward can pierce that, but there's a lot of veterancy in there. What's that? Six, there's six iron crosses there, like, that's not going to go well. And when you have a Shrek yeah. in the area too, like, that was dumb. Yeah. But up to the north, we're going to see another Shrek actually probably get some, some usage here. Oh, no, he gets... I know. Oh, no, oh, the north and north run, yeah. Yeah. Pretty close. But otherwise, yeah, we're, we're seeing the stewards and all of that machine gun fire just absolutely knifing through the northernmost approach. No more Shrek. The P-Grands are getting torn to pieces. And the south is stabilized for Amber T. Um, but I wouldn't say his, his chances have really improved greatly at the moment. Yeah, I mean, we do have the AT gun down south, which is going to be able to pick off the Panzer Grenadier, maybe. Yeah, he goes. That's going to slow down any advances. And now, I mean, Genef doesn't have much in terms of defense down south, but Ambertie's going to have to, you know, bring up infantry or recon, spot stuff before actually going in and, you know, capturing the flags. Uh, a... Desperate throw of reinforcement to IG 18s, Pgrens in the P3s, recon and otherwise, will probably stymie this northern outbreak, or at least for the time being. But the stewards are being knifed in. This is going to be interesting. Yep. I do not. I would not want to engage from this stinking bridge. I would feel that that's a fatal funnel of, of sorts here. Yeah, I know stewards are not really good in anti-tank work. I mean, they have a light anti-tank gun, of course, but also that light anti-tank gun is pretty slow firing. Mm-hmm. But hey, if you're gonna get a lucky kill here, oh. I mean, Wow, wow. It's certainly assert himself. Would the IG-18 get the revenge? Oh, I think he's just shooting something else. There we go. Well, great Scott in the morning. It's time to back up. I would not be that Scott be quite so aggressive here. I, I admire such gumption, but, uh, yeah. 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 We got the off map coming in, some 155 mils. 
looking over here at the American side of things, there should have been a lot of mortars over here possible. And I actually, I like seeing the rocket artillery from both sides. We have a Verfrommet over here in B, as well as a Calliope um, over from the Americans. I'm not sure we're going to see either one of those, but it would be rather fun. Yeah, rocket artillery definitely does have kind of a place in SC2. I mean, just like it's not really Katusha. But especially on a map like this, in the town fights, they can be pretty useful when stressing out a bunch of stuff. And also, off map artillery, of course, is also extremely useful as we're seeing. Is that 155mm? Does not mess about, Khan. That's, that's a lot of explosives. You know, and, it, and it's nice to see that HE has its day. Um, mm -hmm. So often we just see this kind of blind barrage just kind of barely hit something, slightly freaks people out. Um, but there certainly is that dominance over here right now as a second barrage starts coming down. If you can pressure back the P4s, this could be a rather terrifying place to be pretty quickly. Yeah, those P4s are definitely more of a scarier defensive aspect here on our Batiste side, but there we go. Some fantastic bombing runs, the off-map artillery coming through, as well as a 76mm Sherman. Yeah, it's a really good push here from Genef. This is like full-on combined arms warfare. And of course, it's not without losses, and I think we just lost the P-51 to ground fire. Um, but, yep. but, the P-4 is getting thrown back in disarray. Yeah, and we've got a bunch of martyrs being brought in. Four, four of them. Not a unit we see all that often, but I guess you need just any sort of anti-tank to demi its advance. Well, these guys would definitely probably be my second choice. My first choice would be something more committed, like an actual anti-tank gun. Although I would, yeah. lo I love, 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 love the, the mobility of the martyr. Yeah, and just how funky it looks. Oh, true. Sort of a German design of, hey, recaptured something French. Let's put an anti-tank gun on top because why not? Well, I'm trying to just reset both from the German as well as the American views of this. And from the American side of things, I mean. I'm trying to think about where I would try to throw in more reinforcements, but, um, I mean, BAR rifles being thrown into the town, a couple more kind of consolidated in the northern town, it makes sense. I just would think it would like to be a little bit more defensive with this M4A1. Just, it's it's yeah, too it's, dear to me. I, I don't, I would prefer not to lose it. Yes, sir. Taking a lot of firepower. Yes. From it. But yeah, he's got another one being brought in. I'm actually quite surprised you haven't seen a jumbo yet, because... Jumbo would work really well against Trinity Puncher, because the only thing it can't reliably penetrate is the Void of Stalin. And he's all the way in the southern side of the map, so you don't really have to worry about him. Uh, last off map is going after this anti tank position plus the 88. The, Jumbo, the newly arriving Jumbo goes down instantly. Oh, wow. Oh, was that 76? Yes. Yeah. Sorry, 76, not Jumbo. Yeah. But even while that's happening, uh, Hearth is in, as is another one of his two-star companions. And um, they'll probably take out both his Stuart and the Half-Track that are sitting over here, but it's still 16-8. And while the Pioneers are going to escape the Northern Artillery, I don't know that anyone else is going to be that lucky. Yeah, that's going to be a pretty devastating hit. I mean, he's definitely going to kill Flak 88, which is more than enough for a while in that barrage. One well, of the martyrs is also going to be forced back here, too, so that's going to be yeah. rather successful. Uh, Stewart does go down, courtesy of P4s. One martyr goes down from the artillery. And the P51s, yeah. P51s are making the, the proper <laughs> runs. He's yeah. suppressed. Get him! Well, and, and that's what it is. I mean, like, yeah, you, it's easy for us to kind of go and mock the, the rather short-lived part of the 88, but at least the 88 draws the appropriate amount of firepower. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, that's definitely a good call there from Genef's side. As he's been using his air power pretty well so far, so trying to keep the enemy anti-aircraft net as small as possible will definitely allow him to keep using his aircraft, like, as we're seeing with all these bombing runs. Because once again, like, 20 pounds doesn't have a lot of heavy armor, like, relying on his Marder run, Pack 43s, really, for a lot of heavy anti-tank work. And you can blow him up if he fits run Mustangs with bombs. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, the curious thing is that I would have thought this this would be much more 12-12-ish than what we have. It's 59. Yeah. It, I mean, it's, it's like a 53, you know, 47 kind of breakout here. 
And this is a this is the plus one kind of idea as you would see in the old SD forty four. Um, but it's really just this northern town being controlled, which is sealing the deal right now, Fortune F. Yeah, and there's just so many flags here. It's a very flag-rich environment to hold on to. And I think this is pretty brilliant from Genev, because he pushed pretty heavy down south early on with minimal resources. You know, but he had to spend a lot of resources capturing it. And while Genev fell back from some side, he just pulled everything up north and did a pretty effective attack here. Side note, another JU87, yeah. it turns out there was a Jumbo being brought on in as to the south. Unfortunately, he completely whiffs and only gets a steward for his trouble. Yeah. Now, oh boy, the sun and been such a powerhouse unit, but it's in a position where it can't do anything. And that's really going to be the, the major issue here, isn't it? Is that consistently, yeah. the Pegrins don't have the proper anti-tank, the tanks don't have the proper infantry, and Hearth is going to die over here to Bazooka. Um, so, Hero of the Reich notwithstanding, he is now Reich dead. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for all those issues, it's pretty historically accurate to the actual 20th Panzer. Is everything going wrong? Yeah. 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 Um, another infantry push is being slated over here to the north, consolidating the position inside that town, which I kind of understand. Um, but as of right now, I mean, this is this is this is gonna stand to lose. Yeah, he's just like really gets use of the American firepower. I mean, Third Armored is a lovely deck because all of all of the units aren't super good. It's it's not it's apart from the jumbo. The jumbo is fantastic, but you have enough firepower of everything for it to stand on its own two legs for a decent amount of time. And they all work in well together, like Stuart with half tracks, the P fifty runs dropping bombs to cover for the, you know, heavier tanks. They got the mobile IA support. It's lovely. It's it's a lovely deck in terms of its just like synchronicity, if you catch my great drift. I do, I do. Um I was just gonna call it just a, it's a very consistent deck. Yeah. It is it's nothing super fancy about it, it just works. Just good old American firepower and machine guns. Many, many machine guns. Of course, the major downfall for it is that so much of the of the armor is rather under supported. Mm -hmm. Like you seem to seen the kind of same thing right now. You know, a what a forty-five point martyr is playing is having running roughshod over the Stuarts to the north. Yeah, they do lack more heavier anti-tank capabilities because. Yeah, you only really have the 76mm Shermans. I believe you get some 76mm anti-tank guns as well, but... I mean, if there's a King Tiger or a Panther, if fighting them one-on-one -on is going to be a bit hard. But of course, combined arms firepower of air power and artillery to even the firepower. Absolutely. But here we go, Abati's actually managing to bring it back to an 11-13. He's still, you know, needs to get another flag somewhere. It seems like he might do it in the center, because he's got Stern Pioneers pushing on his M8 Scott and machine gun team. We're very close. Must be a good fringe. Well, the JU-87 is definitely going to take him out. And if not him, the m the M1919 is yeah, just going to get shredded. Yeah. So a hole has been ruptured both in the, the middle and the south, at least for the time being. Stern Pioneers are definitely going to take out the uh, anti-tank gun. Um, but... First things first, yeah, the JUE 7 is going to go down. I don't see any way he's going to make it out. Oh, and there was a Flak 43 there. Okay, I was trying to figure out where the heck this anti air was coming from. There we go. Yeah, that's a pretty effective anti tank, anti aircraft gun. And down south, it's where I can really route. Oh, look, it's Bazooka! Oh, I was expecting him to make the end run, jump out, and yeet the boy to Stalin, but that's not going to happen. No, but you know what will happen with the P-51s dropping on the Boyd to Stalin and force it back at minimum. Uh, it might just do enough chip damage to take it out. He's been getting hit constantly. Yeah. So not dead he yet. He takes those bombs like a champ. Well, no, I certainly hope so at this point. Um, oh, they're showing rear armor. Oh, you're absolutely right. Oh my gosh, and the Sherman's going to be able to get... Okay, he's shooting at the P-3. That's a... I... Interesting call. I think this forest is still kind of blocking line of sight. There we go. 
I, I do like how when tanks are completely dressed out and fallen back, they just do the stupidest stuff. I mean, it makes it kind of makes sense, but it also can be very annoying. Oh yes, especially if you own that yeah. tank. Yeah. Just... If it's the enemy's tank, not as annoying. Oh no, at that point, it's just like that's righteous. That's how it should be. Yeah. Um. Kind of a unique fact. We're actually going to see an unsupported tank move over here on this northern town, and I kind of want to see how badly this goes. Oh, it's probably going to go terribly, Khan. Look at those Panzer fours all by themselves, and you know, the Americans have bazookas. We're only one bazooka in this case. For the moment, but yes. Still, all you need is one. Oh, two, soon with the bar. Well, and I'm wanting to see if this this 57 mil is being brought over here to the edge of the trees. Okay, so I'm sure pioneers are finally getting brought. Oh, never mind. They're going to the north. This is still continues to be a very interesting push. Mm hmm. By interesting, kind of nonsensical. Mm -hmm. Just getting completely like pushed in this match. He's he's striking back hard now and see if, like in yeah, our own sea phase. I mean, the southern push has definitely slowed down because of the Boy and Rink put, but you know, it's northern push does have potential of the Stern Pioneers. Potential, yes, but let's not read into it too much. There's still a lot yeah. of armored rifles, the half track is there. There's just enough equipment to cause a hassle. 1P4s, 2P4s are down, excuse me. And this, I think the other one's going to run afoul of this engineer. I think there's going to be a satchel charge and then probably a surrender. Just the right now, we have a Pigren squad being rushed on in right into a bazooka shot coming right down the main drag. Now, the thing is, is that if we look into C, Amber T does have that reinforcement card at both P4s as well as 27 Pigrens. Um, yeah. So, technically, he can outlast the Americans. But I don't think he's going to be given the chance. And that's I mean, the there issue. we go. It's, it's the plus two coming in from, from Genef. Just holding on to that northern side is going really well for him. Exactly. And yeah. Yeah. But regardless, um, he's still throwing his panzers in with reckless abandon, and as might be expected, one by one, those brave um, sons of tankers could just get taken on out. Um, but hey, give that another 5-10 minutes, and I think he probably would have had it, but that earlier push just was absolutely just socked him in the mouth. Yeah, that was just very good aggressive play from Genef. Like, once again, hitting down south hard, and then moving straight up north, and that combined arms push with the off map artillery is mwah. I tell you, push guys, your artillery, you move in the half track infantry to secure the front, you bomb the crap out of anything that's still alive, and then the tanks just give you a lot of firepower. Yes. That's it, how you do it. It's the actual application of shock and awe, not just shockingly awful. So, I mean, that's, that, that's how. <laughs> that's how. Okay, how often do we see that thing where it's kind of like, okay, let me artillery mic the front lines, my own troops are right there. Yeah, it's, it's happened often, or moving tanks and unsupported, or mm -hmm. infantry unsupported. You know, we see uh, it's, it's kind of often, but that, that was a really good person. Yeah, 1,000 rough KD uh, difference between both, which is very standard for a 1v1. It is, and and we have a couple of standouts here and there. Most of these have some, you know, a mix of ground kills between infantry and tanks, or armored vehicles. Um, but the Stalin doing pretty well, J87 getting four kills, I mean, a pack four, uh, well, excuse me. A capture is this, basically getting uh, a couple of light vehicles, if I like uh, getting some kills. By the same token, I was over here. There's not a couple of them. Oh, the off map getting a few kills, armored rifles. Not, nobody that's going to earn themselves an Iron Cross or Medal of Honor anytime soon, but regardless, solid, solid play all around. Yeah, I think that's fairly accurate. Good, I'm happy to hear you say that. Any final thoughts to go along with that accuracy? Uh, none today. Well, folks, in that case, then, that means you got to come back over here on Thursday, when I think it was a terrible Divisions tournament is rearing its head again on Thursday, isn't it? Indeed it will, and it will be terrible. Well, folks, in that case, then, come back for some terrible Thursday plays. Uh, until then, though, I'm Con Ulrich. I'm Rangaroo. Take it easy.